Make sure you have enough money. I pray to the Almighty that my words this evening should be true and correct in their content. Uh, good evening, everybody. I've got two or three minutes. I will try and present our case within that time. Um, I'm an Orthodox Jew writing and um, speaking under the banner of a group known as Natura Carta, who are propagators of Orthodox Jewish opposition to Zionism. Zionism being the philosophy and movement, the racist or the nationalistic racist philosophy which brought into being the State of Israel. Um, we are here together today in connection with a, in, with a background of Palestinian suffering which has gone back a hundred years, not just 40 years or 60 years, but gone back a hundred years. And the events in Gaza were just the latest event in a horrible chain of violence which has started during that time. My message to you tonight, this evening, is that not all Jews are Zionists. In fact, Zionism and Judaism are two different and incompatible concepts. Authentic Orthodox Jews oppose Zionism. They sympathize entirely with the Palestinian cause and protest vehemently the wrongs done to them. And one of the purposes of my message to you this evening is to help reduce the stain which Zionism has imposed by its very existence on the Jewish people. The vast majority of Jewish religious authorities rejected Zionism from its inception. This is the genuine age-old Jewish view, although this is sadly now a minority view, Nevertheless, it is still a very powerful and significant minority view and is widely held. Orthodox opposition to Zionism is based on religious belief grounds, which I won't go into here. It's more of interest to the Jewish people themselves. Um, but basically, it is a claim that Zionism is a rebellion against the wishes of the Almighty. Also, our opposition to Zionism is on Jewish religious values Jewish religious values of humanitarianism. And this is a field which can be appreciated by everyone. Zionism with its aim of a state for the benefit of a specific group in someone else's land is by definition a sectarian and racist philosophy. philosophy having from its foundation a disregard for Palestinian hopes for self-determination in the land they had occupied for centuries leading on to a disregard to their livelihoods, homes, and lives. Zionism, by definition, is a shocking contravention of humanitarian values, aiming to override by force, if necessary, as we are all aware, any opposition. Zionism is wrong morally. It is also wrong logically. It was, from its inception, bound to produce confrontation and has been the constant cause of bloodshed, death, and destruction for Jew and Arab. It has certainly not been the safe haven for Jews, which was one of its claims. This has, in fact, been the picture for 100 years up to the present day. Zionists do not, as they claim, represent Jewish people. Anti-Zionism, as we have heard and we agree completely, is not anti-Semitism. If anything, Zionists and Zionism are a cause if of modern anti-Semitism. I'd like to finish with this. Any charges and accusations as to which side is to blame in the current conflict are irrelevant. Without in any way wanting to condone violence, one has to seek out the root cause. The majority of international observers admit to appreciate the basic cause of the problem, which is Zionism and its state. There is no doubt that the very existence of the religion the legitimate Zionist state is the underlying cause of strife in the Middle East, and there will be no peace unless and until this cause disappears. And more is going to show really one more moment, please. This state cannot last. Falsehood must come to an end. It is wrong to say one cannot reverse facts on the ground. How it will come to an end, we don't know, but we pray for a speedy, total, and peaceful dismantling of the concept of the Zionist state to be replaced by a just regime in which Arab and Jew can live together peacefully as in previous times. May we then merit the time when the glory of the Almighty will be revealed over the whole universe and there will be peace among the whole of mankind. Amen.